Hi guys, I'm recording this video today for a um, photographer that I did a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with who um, had a lot of questions about how to make her website better um, and sent me a follow-up question with regard to how to change the um, words that appear in the top of a page on a browser and the words that appear when somebody does a Google search for her. So I wanted to go through that on video today for you guys real quick in case more of you have that question. If you use WordPress, this video will apply to you. If you don't use WordPress, um, what I'm showing you isn't necessarily what you need to do within your own website. But the same process can be done, just the tools will appear in different places within your own website tool. So the first thing you need to do if you're a WordPress um, customer is to install a free plugin, which you can go right here to Plugins, Add New, and you want to search for SEO by Yoast. Um, those are, oh, why did it change that to toast? Hold on, it's Y-O-A-S-T, hit search, it did it again, but let's see if it comes up. Okay, so it's WordPress SEO by Yoast. I already have it installed, but if I didn't, you would see what I see down here, which is install now. So you want to install it, um, which it'll automatically install it on your website. It's free. And then once you've installed it, you want to activate it. So you see how some of my plugins have deactivate and some have activate. You want to activate your um, WordPress SEO plugin. Okay, right now mine's activated, so the option is deactivate, but you should see an activate up button on yours. So you want to click that. And then um, you want to go to the pages that you want to change the title tag and meta tag for. So I'm going to work on my um, about page real quick. So after, just to use this as an example, after you've installed that plugin, you should have a section below where you type the content for your page that says WordPress SEO by Yoast. So I'm going to kind of go backwards and walk you through what I did. The first thing that I do whenever I um, want to create a new page or a new blog post is I, I know going in what keyword I want to write about and focus on. So in this case, I wanted to focus on mainline newborn photographer. Um, in here, I've typed in my focus keyword. I typed in the title that I want to have appear at the top of the page. It'll tell you you have 70 characters left, and as you type, um, I'm sorry, 70 characters total, and as you type, the characters start to reduce to tell you how many you have left. The meta description is what shows up beneath a search result. These are the words that contain additional information. They can also be keywords that you want to get found for in addition to your focus keyword. So you see I've listed some of the names of the towns near me. And then it shows you a preview of what this will look like when it comes up in the search result. It highlights, or I'm sorry, it bolds your target keyword. And then my favorite part about this plugin is when you click save, you will get a little um, ball right here. A circle which will go from red to yellow to green. So you can see I'm mousing over it right now. It's green. It means the SEO for this page is really good. Um, you might notice that when you build a page and you use certain keywords or certain title tags that your 
um, SEO ball is yellow or maybe even red. It could be because of any of these things. So it's telling me I didn't use my focus keyword in the article heading. I tend not to because I think it sounds a little bit clunky sometimes. Sometimes I do, it just depends. It was um, the page title, so it was the title of the page down here that I entered, excuse me, down here where I entered it. I edited my URL up here to make it include those keywords. I didn't mention it in the content, which isn't great, um, but it just, for me, it just didn't fit in this content of this particular page. And it's telling me I included it in the meta description, which I typed down here, and again, it's showing me up here in bold that I included that word. Um, if you really are having trouble and you really want to help optimize your page and control what these things say by listing things such as awards, you can play around with them. Um, if you're having trouble getting that green ball to come up to tell you that you did a good job, you can also click the page analysis tab, which will give you more information about what you did not so well in red, okay, in um, orange or yellow, and then what you did really well in green. So it can help you clean up some stuff on your page as well. Hope that helped!